Hotel and Garden Zone 5 in Illinois in the Midwest. Today we're going to start planting bulbs, but I'm starting in the garden house so I can show you the bulbs I got and tell you if you've not gotten your bulbs yet, where to go, where I found the best deals, um, the best selection, some of the different things I found I want to show you, and then we're going to get out and start planting. So let's start with what I found in the places I went to. Now, this is the first week in November, and I'm just now getting my bulbs, which is better than last year. Last year, I didn't even get it done. So I'm ahead a little bit, but I'm also behind. I did go online for those of you that like to shop online for your bulbs, and I looked at color blends last night. Well, this late in the season, they're mostly sold out. They have a few options left for bulbs. So I scoped out last night and this morning, I went to Home Depot, Lowe's, Walmart, and then also Menards. Now I'm not sure Menards is available throughout the United States. It is like a Lowe's or a Home Depot. So those were the four stores that I chose to go to that are local and also big box stores that probably most of you have in your area that you can you can shop at for bulbs. So I can tell you in the first week of November in zone five, they still had a lot of bulbs and Menards actually had theirs on sale too. So let me tell you about the bulbs and the stores that I thought had the best deals, but then the ones that I thought were the most unique. Okay, so if you're looking for price, if your main goal is price and you want the lowest price possible, if you have a Menards, I would say go to Menards and check them out because theirs are on sale right now. And this whole section right here, I picked up at Menards. The crocuses were a mix and for 12 bulbs, they were $2.99 on sale. Um, the hyacinths, I got five bulbs. The allium was five bulbs. I got two different types in Allium, the purple and the white, um, and they were $4.99. The hyacinths were $4.99. Tulips, I got 14 tulips. Flaming Flag is what they're called. They're like a lavender, purple, and cream variegated. I thought they were really pretty. They were on sale for $2.99 for 14 and then I got 15 Miranda bulbs, which are that red frilly, kind of look like um, that double rose cup shape tulip. And these were on sale for $4.99. And then I got a huge package of double mixture daffodils. And it has 45 bulbs and they were $8.99 on sale. So that was all Menard. So if it's price you're looking for, um, Menards would be the best. The second one for price was, of course, Walmart. Walmart, I was able to get these pretty two uh, daffodils, double mixed daffodils. I got five, yeah, five bulbs for $3.24. Um, Alliums, five bulbs, $3.24. And this is the purple sensation Alliums. Um, hyacinths, I got now three bulbs, three twenty-four. So um, here it was five bulbs. Was so they're both about a dollar a bulb for hyacinths. And then for a big thing of tulips, and this is just a mixture of some different colors of regular types of tulips. Eleven ninety-seven for thirty bulbs. And then I thought these were pretty. These were called Pink Impression Tulips. And wouldn't those look gorgeous in a vase? I got two packages of those at Walmart and five bulbs, $3.24 a piece. So Walmart did have um, a couple, couple different areas. They had one palette that was more bulk that you got the larger bags in. And then they had one palette of different bulbs that were the smaller uh, five bulbs for the 324. Now, if you're wanting kind of unique, pretty bulbs that aren't just like your standard tulip bulbs, I found those at Lowe's. Now, Lowe's had 
the biggest selection. They um, put the bulbs out in the entryway in the lobby when you come in the main doors, not down by the garden center. Here we've got this beautiful double mix, 25 bulbs for $14.98. It's the light colors. Now this did come in other colors too, and they're that ruffly mix. And um, I just thought these were really pretty. The other thing I picked up was these pretty daffodils at Lowe's, and this was $4.99 for six bulbs. And um, these were called Slim Whitman. And they're the white cream with the yellow centers. And so I was wanting to try those. Now, as far as bulbs and where I'm planting them, the tulips, normally I don't plant in the back garden. I do have wild rabbits that come and they will come in and they will eat the tulips, has been my experience. They do not bother alliums. They do not bother hyacinths. They do not bother the daffodils. So those will probably go in the backyard garden. Now the mailbox garden is what we're gonna be working in this morning. And I need to clear out this, the flowers that were planted there this summer and then um, plant the tulip bulbs up there. And I think I may plant some of the crocus up there. But look what else I picked up today. I bought myself a auger at Menards and they only had this one but I thought I would give it a try. Now this one was, it's called, it's by Yardworks and it's a power drill bulb planter. I paid $10 for it at Menards. So now if I go online and look at other bulb planters for the augers, they're quite a bit more expensive. The ones I was looking at last night, the power planters, um, you know, were $70, $80 for the auger. So $10 compared to $80, we will, we'll see how well this does. I want to try this one out with the drill this morning up front and I'll take you along to see how we think this works. Um, my concern has always been my dirt is very clay based here in the Midwest. And so I don't know how well an auger will do. And before I put out the money for a more expensive auger, I want to see if I even like this. Um, I'm just thinking with as many bulbs as I want to plant up in the mailbox area, this would make a much quicker job if it works than doing it all by hand. So let's get going. Let's get up there. Like I said, first we're going to clean it all up, get rid of all the flowers that have now uh, you know, gotten taken by the frost and start fresh and get it ready to go. So come on guys, let's get going. Okay guys, this is the mailbox garden now. I'll throw up a picture of what it looked like this summer when it was in its beautiful, beautiful colors, but it is totally spent now and most of the stuff needs to come out because they were annuals. So I'm gonna start cleaning out this bed and then we'll get it all primed and ready to plant the tulips. So the flower bed has been pulled out, all the stuff that I want out. I did leave a couple of the cute little white plants. I don't know that they're going to make it through winter, but I thought that gave it a little bit of interest right now. And the Dusty Miller hasn't totally, you know, looked bad. So we're going to leave those. But I did pull stuff out. I raked out the leaves, got it cleaned out. I got my new auger. So let's get going. Okay, so I don't know if you noticed on the auger. So the way that I'm doing this, my husband showed me. Now mine is a cordless drill, but it doesn't have the handle on it. So the best thing to do, he said, was to put this between my feet and brace this up against my leg so that that would be the same as holding it out. And I did notice if I don't do that, and this catches in the clay soil, it will spin this and it could hurt your wrist. 
So it is important to do that if you're using a drill like mine. Okay guys, the auger made quick time of digging the tulip holes. There is a there is an art to it and I think you as time goes on you'd get better at it. It did take me longer since this was the first time I ever using the auger to plant anything but it drilled the holes very quickly so let's start putting the bulbs in and like i had showed you i've got different tulip bulbs i'm gonna put in i've got some roughly ones i've got some plain ones i've got just plain pink ones so i'll put a, a whole slew of different mixtures of tulip bulbs and then i'm gonna come back in and put crocus bulbs on top of it hanging out with me today guys um, I got the fall bulbs planted uh, the tulips and the crocuses threw in some hyacinths and some daffodils up in that pretty mailbox garden for next spring and I will see you in the next one mm -hmm.